Okay, so what's going on, y'all? It's your girl, Dramatic Key. You already know. All right, so... Oh, there goes my snake. There's his face right there. Just went back in. He's about to start shedding, and I usually... Let me see. Let me back in. Let the phone sit somewhere where y'all can see. Okay, so I'm about to go ahead and feed him. I have a frozen hopper inside the bag already and I have my tongs and I'm about to try to feed him and see if he's gonna eat because I haven't fed him in like two weeks but he looked like he's about to shed again and he really just shed like maybe three weeks ago uh so yeah so I'm just grabbing it with my tongs like this and I haven't fed him too many times like this. I be, ah, and I dropped it. Oh, I don't want to go in there and, and pick it up. <laughs> Y'all, I'm scared. <laughs> I don't feed him inside his enclosure at all. I feed him inside this bin right here. But he was under this little rock, and I don't be wanting to move it. <sighs> well, isn't this something? Okay. I don't even know where his head is at. And I don't want him to just come out and attack the little tongs, because he kind of long. He's actually really long. I see his face. See if I can pick it up. This is so nasty. I usually. Uh, Y'all, yeah, I'm shaking. I just dropped him right on him. Ah, he got him. I would not recommend anybody to feed their snakes like this at home. I know this is bad, so all y'all like hardcore reptile people, please don't come for me. <laughs> now, I really don't play with him. Like when he's feeding, like it's important that you just let them eat. Because I don't want to get bit. He's never bitten me before. And I've actually had him out before. I'm not scared of my snake to the fact that I don't touch him. I just don't like the whole feeding process. Because, you know, your girl don't want to get bit. But, and like I said, I usually don't feed him in this either. So, they tell you not to feed them in their enclosures. Because you don't want them to. His tank is so dirty on the inside. It's crazy. But this tank is like too big to, I think this is a 20 gallon. It's too big for me to like pick up and clean on my own. It's actually really heavy. Um, But they tell you not to feed them in their closures because, you know, they can get some of the bedding and like eat some of the bedding and it's actually not safe for them. But this is a frozen hopper. Yeah, I got the picture. Y'all, he was hungry, hungry. Y'all see how fast he... It ain't even... This tank is so dirty. I'm sorry, y'all. Okay, now he eating. I can open it back up. I just didn't want... Because, honestly, he's very long. And all he has to do is stretch. And he can get out of this tank. Like, he looks small. He is small body-wise. Like width wise. But he's actually very, very long. Next time when I do a video like this, I'll make sure I do one. Um, like taking him out of the enclosure and actually putting him inside of his bin. But it's been a really long day. And I actually recorded another video today, but I'll probably upload that in on like next week sometime because I didn't really I want to redo that video like I didn't really like how I looked 
I wasn't really video ready today. So yeah, let me know down below in the comments um, any questions y'all have for me as a snake owner. And y'all send those into me. And then um, I'll do a separate video like accent, like answering all of y'all questions and assumptions and stuff. Now, I know his coat looks very black and shiny on camera, but um, he's actually about to get ready and go into shedding. Like, if you could see, like, the top of his head. Hold on. Let me point to it. If you see, like, the top of his head right here, how dark it is compared to the rest of his body. The rest of his body is actually supposed to be a dark black like that. Um, so when they shed, they're actually shed on their head and on their eyes as well. So he's like right at a good time before shed and before I don't have to feed him. So usually I feed him every week. Um, but I haven't fed him in about two weeks cause I've just been really busy. They don't have to eat every week. Um, really they can go like a month or so without eating food and still survive. Um, but I fed him just in time because, like I said, he's about to get running and shed again. And I can I knew something was up because when he's about to shed, he actually is, like, very antisocial. Like, he hides under this bowl a lot or he'll be in, either in his little hut over here or in between the plants. But those plants are usually, like, right here. But, so, yeah. I used to love watching my friend feed her snake. I remember when I was younger my godmother's ex-husband had a big python and um i think it was a bull constrictor python the yellow and white one but don't get me wrong let me do my research on it and that thing was huge it used to eat rabbits like this is a hopper mouse like this mouse was like no bigger than my thumb actually it's probably about the same size as my thumb but it's still pretty small, which goes to show you how small he is eating. Um, but this compared to rabbits, that's a big difference. And now he's just digesting as he eats. Once he finishes getting this in his mouth, then I'm going to go ahead and put the top back on it. Um, because he's still in feed ammo and right now anything is a target of food like i said he's never bitten me before um y'all don't be in my comments talking about some oh okay he gonna kill you in your sleep and it's that and that first of all my snake will never get big enough to even be strong enough to choke me like to where i can't get him off of me and myself he would never be that big to take over me so um just because of how they're like really honestly his body won't get like no bigger than like this big right now his body is like this big compared to this so that's about how big he'll get if that um and they told me he was a male so males get in between three to four feet long and females get in between five to six but he's getting pretty long actually i mean he um is like a little over a year right now a year and a couple months and i mean i'm short no but he he comes to my waist i'm five two and right now he comes to my waist so okay so he's getting done eating so yeah i probably won't be feeding him in here again because i like to move his cage around and stuff his tank around but um later on i'll come back in here and pour some water in his bowl and he has a little bit in there like a very very little bit enough for him to drink but still a little bit look how far his mouth is stretching That's crazy. Yeah, so like right here, you can even see like how dark the top of his head is compared to the rest of his body. It's like kind of like a grayish color, but really his whole body is dark 
jet black like that and then underneath him he's kind of like a cream slash greenish color it's not really like a pure white it's like a cream white like an off-white i want to say all right so yeah he finishing up he started on oh, let me zoom out he started way over here feet in and y'all see he stretched his body out way over there and he still has a lot more stretching to do really he's just about as long as this tank um that's why i said i have to be careful when i open this thing because if he stretch he can he actually likes to climb up here and stuff around the edges and he could just stretch up there so i know he can get out if he really wanted to while I have it open, not while it's locked, because I keep it locked. He's never rejected any food since I got him from day one, which is good. Um, I remember when he started off in a five gallon tank when I got him last year. And he was eating pinky mice that barely had any fur on them. And he was so tiny. He was so tiny. But he's never rejected any food. He always eats well. And I'm pretty sure he was like hungry, hungry. I started to get him too. But I feel like this was a big enough size. And I don't want to overfeed him because he's already about to go and shed. Uh, this is the part that I hit. The tail. Sorry y'all for the bad recording. I am recording oh, on my phone. Oh, every time I see this, it made me want to choke. Um, and another thing to answer y'all question, I know you're gonna ask. No, he's not poisoning, poisonous, or however we say, he's not a poison snake. So he's not harmful to me. Okay, y'all, he is finishing up eating. You can see how he's stretching out his body because that rat actually has to digest all the way to the end. So, y'all, I kind of see that. There it is right there. And it's moving. He's moving it. Y'all see that it's traveling. Whoa. I do not like to play with him when he ain't feeding time. <laughs> Y'all don't be laughing at me in these comments. <laughs> Make sure this closed all the way. Yeah, the only time I've ever seen him jump at somebody is if it was feeding time. And that's really little to none because I know the people in the pet store, they still kind of like handle him while it's feeding time. So they actually love him when I take him to the pet store. And because that in his, like if I was to take him out before I even put the hopper mouse in there, he wouldn't have like tried to bite me or anything at all like at all but because that rodent scent is in there that's why he does that but y'all if y'all watch anybody's like feet in videos they are all the same they all might jump during feet in time but it's completely normal like a visual of how long he is So yeah, thank y'all so much for watching my video. I hope y'all enjoying Vlogtober video for number two. I don't even know how to say it if I'm saying it correctly. Um, I really want to appreciate it. Y'all make sure y'all give this video a thumbs up. Um, y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next freaking video. Boom shakalaka.